pick up over the last couple of days. Uh, looks like we're set to close just over a percent higher today. And it really looks like resources stocks coming back into to, to favor today. Look, if you just look at the run that we had through the December period, and obviously as we started this year, you can definitely see strong up performance in the resource sector. And it continues to tick up and weakness doesn't persist for very long. So definitely a lot of appetite for that. You know, I heard you chatting earlier about commodity prices. Commodity prices keep ticking up. You know, at this point in time, markets are very frothy. But, you know, calling a top in a market is very difficult. I think that, uh, you know, with the trend and the momentum behind a lot of these resource stocks at the moment, it can continue. You know, just chatting to one of our senior portfolio managers, Chris, he, uh, you know, of the same opinion that these uh, markets can continue further and the likes of Angler's Bulletin, big benefiters from, uh, from, from the run that we're seeing at the moment. Well, of course, Credit Agricole expecting new record highs this year for copper. We've seen copper hitting consecutive record highs. Also, tin in the PGMs. Now, platinum miners last year lagging some of the gains that we saw on the market. So we had Anglo Plats down 9% last year. We had Lonmin down a significant amount, 24%. Do you think this is the year for catch up for some of those platinum companies? I like a lot of the, the, the platinum counters, the likes of Impala, Amplats, and Lonmin. I think they're all placed to do very well for 2011. You know, the move through 235 on Impala suggests that there could be some further upside there. Did it sat in it digested, moved in a long sideways pattern for a lot of the part, a lot, a lot of last year and actually earlier on before that. So I definitely think that this could be a nice year for the likes of Impala and Platts. And you saw some strong movements in Impala and Amplats today. Lonman tends to lag those two, two blue chip stocks. But um, I think that this definitely could be a nice year for those platinum counters. And I'm quite bullish on the platinum price as well. I think a lot of it is going to be demand driven going forward. You are seeing some pickup in a, a lot of the darts are coming out of the east and a lot of the car sales should start to pick up from the low base effect that we're seeing at the moment and nicely placed to do well in 2011. Derek, would you prefer to buy Anglo Platt or buy Anglo American itself? That was up almost 3% today, trading around 360 Rand. So you get the entry to the platinum uh, sector through Anglo Platt. You also get exposure to copper and some of the other commodities at the same time. I think what you've got to do is you've got to look at it from a client perspective and say, well, uh, what kind of risk exposure are you going to expose yourself to in the market? If you are of, on, the, on the higher point of the risk scale and you want a single commodity exposure, then you would look at something like Amplats. If you want to get exposure into the resource sector and look at a diversified miner, then you say, well, let's go into a diversified miner with exposure to a few commodities out there then uh, you'd look at something like Anglo-American. So it really depends on where you sit on the risk scale. But at this point in time, coming back to our earlier discussion, I think platinum is due to do quite well through 2011. I'd feel confident going into a stock like Amplats. My preferred pick in the sector would actually be Impala Platinum. But um, I still think Why it could Impala? be... I just think the business model, according to me, is uh, a lot better place to do well. They've got some nice assets in Zimbabwe that uh, it, at this price, I don't think is actually priced in, into uh, the stock price. And I think that going forward, there could be some up performance there. And Platts, a little toppy over here, fundamentally quite full. And um, I think that the growth strategy from Impala and uh, expansion strategy is a lot more attractive, uh, in my opinion. Five of today's top six gainers were from the resources sector. We had African Rainbow Minerals, the best, uh, best today, 3.6% higher. African Rainbow Minerals doesn't quite have the geographical diversity of your BHP billets and Anglo-American. Well, what's your view on, on ARM? I like African Rainbow Minerals. We actually chatted about it in uh, October, November last year, and I think around that time it was sitting around 190 rand a share around those levels and it had a strong run once it moved through 200 it ran very quickly to 215 212 traded in that range and then obviously yesterday and today has been a strong performance from it i think it's nicely placed they've done some very good strategic acquisitions that's going to give it some nice fundamental kickers as you start to see uh, the next set of results reveal itself so i'm quite bullish and again just generally in the sector i think you do want to be overweight overweight resources you know as we sit at the moment and possibly for a good part of 2011. Sassel up 7.5% last year. Today it's up by 2.2%. And it's a show that's uh, it's benefiting from the stronger oil price, but is being weighed on by the, the, the strong rand at this stage. With oil trading at $98 a barrel, perhaps set to go higher, would you be looking at Sassel? Look, it's had a strong run at the moment. And what you've got to look at in the very short term is you saw the rand strengthen just before the end of the year uh, to just under that 660 level. Now, what you've seen is you've seen these commodity prices run up as well as a slightly weaker rand. 
So it's been a quite a nice kicker for a lot of these uh, resource stocks that are listed on the JSC, where you've got the weakening rand as well as increase in commodity prices, which is what you're seeing in the last few days where you have seen this, this quick run in Anglos, Billiton, Sassels, a lot of these commodity stocks, Xara as well making new highs. So look, it's a little bit toppy at this point in time, but I think that the momentum and the trend is definitely behind it. Uh, you know, as long as the, the, the oil price that you're seeing at the moment is demand driven, I feel quite comfortable waiting for weakness. I think at this level, maybe run a little bit hard, wait for a little bit of weakness uh, towards the 330 level, maybe a little bit underneath that and look at accumulating some of those in a long term portfolio. Some of the industrials not doing quite as well today. We had SAB Miller down 1.5%, Vodacom down 1.4%, and then Renet down 0.7%. SAB Miller down 1.5%. Any cause for concern? Any, anything driving that? Look, I think SAB is, is, a, is a quality company. You've got some nice offshore exposure. Uh, you know, in any long-term portfolio, it definitely does make a strong component of a long-term portfolio. Um, no cause for concern. Again, um, my, my feeling at this moment in time in the market, I think that the attraction is more towards the resource sector. And, you know, just looking back over 2010, you know, it was really industrials that led our market. They gave us some significant upside. If you look at the likes of Naspin, uh, um, uh, NASPERS and Aspen and some of the strongest, uh, some of the industrial stocks out there, they really did give some strong performance. So, look, you know, SAB tended, tended to lag the industrial sector overall, but is starting to pick up and is on a gradual uptick at the moment. You know, if it does get through this 240, 245, could quite clearly be on the cards. I think, again, weakness, you can add to a position like that, but rather look to the resource sector for our performance. Just just quickly, uh, Mass Smart uh, with the trading update today follows uh, ShopRite's trading update yesterday. Looks pretty good, those shares ending 1% higher, 147 Rand. And it, it looks like across the board, quite strong uh, sales from all of its divisions. Look, if you look at some of these retailers and you look at ShopRite, you look at MassMart, you look at the Mr. Mr. Price uh, business update, they, the, what you must remember is that stocks are, are, are obviously very forward-looking in nature. So, you know, a lot of the investment uh, philosophy behind buying stocks like this eight months ago was pricing in what you're seeing at the moment. So it comes as no surprise to the stock prices where, you know, you have a lot of positivity released uh, in terms of announcements and the stock prices tend to digest, sit steady and sort of consolidate where they are at the moment. What's going to drive them forward uh, into 2011 is some, some further fundamental uh, backing behind them. So the next set of, of financial results is going to be quite key. Increase in div dividends and, uh, you know, dividend policy possibly maintaining, increasing. So I think, you know, they're very uh, fundamentally driven stocks. And at this point in time, I think a lot of the good news is priced in. They're fully priced at the moment, but we do need to see the next set of financial results to see where some of these uh, stocks are going to take us going forward.